don't define success by the headlines in a newspaper or a cover of a magazine. I did not have any inspiration. I was like a rocket with its own fire. In, act in an English film, you had act in a Hindi film or a Tamil film, or you act for a web series or you act for television. Acting is basically projecting your your emotions. Hello everyone, welcome to Success Story Season 2, presented by Trident Communications. I am Alka, your host for today, and our guest for today is Miss Madhusha. She is an Indian film actress known for her works prominently in Hindi, Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, and Malayalam language movies. So some of her famous works are Kuku Kohli's Pool or Kaate, Roja, Malayalam Hit Yodha, Tamil Hit Gentleman, and many more. So now that she is here with us today on our show, let's welcome her and begin this episode of Success Stories. Hello, Madhuji. How are you? Hi, Alka. Thank you so much for uh, giving me such a fantastic introduction. Really, really wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for your time for this episode of Success Stories. So, yeah, Madhuji, very welcome. I- uh, so, Madhuji, as we read in your bio just now that you have worked in Hindi, T- Telugu, Kannada, Tamil and Malayalam movies. So, your career has definitely been very colorful. So, how did this journey begin? Um, I'm a very strong believer that, um, you know, things happen the way they, ha- they happen. Yes, of course, we are, have our dreams, we have our uh, desires. So there is a little bit of direction that we tend to give, but mostly life happens. And the beauty is to get yourself adapted, except uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because when I actually thought of wanting to be an actress uh, in, the, in the very old days, I was only thinking of myself as a Hindi film actress. I never thought uh, of South movies or I, I know I was born and brought up in Delhi and Bombay and my cousin is Himaji and uh, she's been a Hindi film actress. So at no point did I think I would be a South Indian actress also. Uh, So I tried only for Hindi movies and all that, but it so happened that the first call actually that I got uh, was from Mr. K. Balchandar sir for a Tamil film. And at that, by the time I came to that point, I had already faced my first rejection. And my father was constantly telling me that if you are not studying, because I had finished my graduation. So my father kept saying, if you're not studying, if you don't work, if you're not going to, you know, uh, I'll get you married. I'm not going to keep you sitting in the house doing nothing. So uh, my father kept saying that all the time to me. And I just said, like, you know, let me just find work, whatever comes my way, let me say yes and start work. And then I said yes to K. Balachandar, sir. And the minute I signed the Tamil film, uh, I got Kuku Kohli's Pular Kante, and then I never looked back. And then when I got the Tamil film, then the Malayalam film happened, then the Telugu, and I started enjoying being busy. I'm never a selective person. If you see my life, I never choose things. Uh, I call myself the yes girl. I have a tendency of saying yes, yes to life. Life happens and I say yes. So this started way back then. I had dreams of becoming a Bollywood actor, but then I got Tamil film, I got Telugu film, I got Malayalam film, and I just started working. So that is how everything came to me. That's really nice. So, you know, working in different industries and with different languages, different target audiences, Isn't it difficult? No. Uh, Acting is whether you act in in an English film, you act in a Hindi film or a Tamil film, or you act for a web series or you act for television. Acting is basically projecting your, your emotions. Expressing your emotions is what acting is. Of course, we have our cultural, uh, you know, flavor. Our languages, some languages are a bit, a bit loud. Uh, Tamil people, South Indians are culturally, we are a bit more loud. So we are loud. Then as you go in Malayalam, actually Malayalam is very, very, very subtle. So when you start acting in that, you kind of adopt and adapt to the cultural flavor. But acting by and large, you just have to feel, you know, language is just a way of kind of communicating. 
but what is acting acting is just projecting your feelings and that you do it in any platform once you are an actor you have to feel the emotion and that is uh, not difficult uh, no matter what platform or what language all right so as you mentioned that you are the relative of bollywood queen hema ji and then you were born brought up in delhi and then mumbai so these are you know metropolitan cities and you have a lot of exposure there so was it uh, really easy to get your first break or how difficult was it well it was uh, you know as easy and as difficult as i would like to make a story around it it was uh, very difficult because imagine i had finished my education and my portfolios you know few, few producers had seen it and uh, i didn't get a call then um, i in, in from my first movie i was replaced uh, with an another actor for that role because the director producer thought i was not good enough so i felt that my struggle was uh, you know uh, huge but now in hindsight that much struggle to banta hi hai i mean i i'm so lucky actually i would like to say that i'm living a blessed life i'm living a charmed life because whatever my dreams are i found my platform i found my journey i know millions and millions and thousands and thousands of people who never get to do what they really set out to do so if you come if you look at it like that you will say it was an easy journey if you look at it you know a young girl struggling and facing rejection and not getting a call for a year you may say it's a difficult journey but today where i am i think uh, life has been good to me and i'm very very grateful for that that's really nice so you know you have done a lot of hit movies but there was there has to be one movie from which you got recognized and life changed after that so which movie would be that and no i am very lucky um, you know my dear because uh, uh, when i did phool or kante it was not an established production house it was not a superstar hero um, you know that i was being launched with it was not a superstar director it was everything was everybody was new right but the movie became the greatest greatest hits of its times and even today people know that my pull or kante was my first film so i cannot forget the break that i got with my movie pull or kante then life went on i did a movie in kannada called annaya annaya was a beta remake beta was madhuri dikshit's uh, film hindi film which i played in uh, kannada that movie even today when i land in karnataka people remember me only for that film in the same way in malayalam i did a yodha with uh, mohan lal it was just a super duper it just celebrated 25 or 27 years and uh, they were talking about it like an epic film of that land and of course roja happened to me and i am known in everywhere in india as the roja girl the name kind of stuck to me as a roja girl so i cannot um, tell one name that i would you know call it special i think everywhere i went i have the, that film that says it's special so and even the movies that did not become big hits like i did a quite a few movies with mithunda and um, uh they did not become those mighty blockbusters they were all average box office hits but the joy and the learning and the lesson i had with mithunda and uh, you know it was just a wonderful journey of two years because i did about three or four films with mithunda i cannot leave that out then i got to act with govinda govinda is my all time favorite actor because he's so funny his comic timing his dance timing was so amazing i got to do a movie with mr prabhu deva he is the best dancer of our country even though that movie may not have uh, become the blockbuster it was a very big hit and even till today people talk about my dancing in that film with prabhu deva so i have had this amazing uh, movie base uh, in my career in all the languages and it would be very unfair if i pick one movie that i want to attach myself to i am grateful for all the movies that became super hits i am also grateful for all the movies that did not become super hits but they kept me going and teaching me so yeah i have had a really really good life with my movies so this long journey that you had there has to be a backup support and inspiration in the life so who's that at that time i did not have any inspiration i was like a rocket with its own fire 
uh, you know, finding its way, making its way. Because I was like this girl on fire with a dream and without any support. I didn't know anybody who would teach me how to move forward in this business. Anybody telling me that I will teach you, I will take you, I will do a movie for you, with you. I had no such thing. I had a dream. And I was on fire. It is literally, I call myself rocket on fire that just went zoom. So now when I look back, I can talk about many heroes, many support, my fam, my father, my good friends, um, you know, the people who took me in their movies. I would like to name all of them as inspiration and support. But when I actually came into the scene, I considered myself as a lone, uh, what you call, lone racer or a lone ranger, just dashing through the snows. <laughs> All right. So ups and downs are a part of life. So when you have yours, what do you do to deal with them? Um, when I have mine, firstly, I, I find it very um, difficult to cry in front of anybody. Even in front of my friends and family, I don't like to cry. But I like to cry in my bathroom. I literally look at my face and I cry. And I see how ugly my face becomes when I'm crying so heartily. Like heartfelt. When I see that how contorted and how distorted my face becomes. And I cry so hard and I release my pain. Then I enjoy a good dance. I play either an English song or a Tamil song or a Hindi song. And I dance and dance and dance that I get so tired. After that, I go to an open space. I, I used to live near the beach in the old days. Now I, have, I live in, um, in a place where I have the most amazing terrace. I, when I walk on my terrace, I feel I'm walking on top of the world, uh, the sky and me. And I just walk and feel the sun setting and get the breeze. And I just, and I have some really good friends that when I finished with my own personal process, I talk to my friends and then the day goes away. And I will never, never... Um, uh, you know, I would like to talk about the importance of prayer in my life. I pray and I pray and I pray. And I think that if you pray once, then all the problems are just going to be fine. All right. So, you know, working in so many industries and so many movies at the same time. So how did you manage your personal and professional life? When I was a full-time professional, that is in the 90s, when I was not married, I just worked and worked and worked. And when the pack up happened, I partied and partied and partied. I was a really uh, hardcore party girl. I enjoyed nightclubs. I had some really great friends. And I didn't have this uh, social media hanging on my head, which can catch you in all your bad behavior. Uh, that fear and that threat was not there. So I really partied hard and I really worked hard. And I really enjoyed my life. My young days, I really, really enjoy. So now when I settle down with my family, I don't feel that there is no one thing that I have done. I have done a lot and I'm very happy for that. Oh, that's really nice. So other than acting, uh, what other passions do you have? I uh, have keen interest in uh, human evolution and behavior. Uh, epigenetics and uh, neuroscience. I like to know why we feel what we feel and uh, how we can change all of that. And I have a keen interest and it's a very newly developed interest as in it was not in my school days or my college days. I have gotten into it, all of it now as a self-help. Uh, you know, I want to help myself. I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to feel low. I don't want to feel sick. So, and, but I don't want to keep running to the doctors. So, essay karte karte, the well being, the science of well being. And when I talk about the uh, science of well being, it is not just about gym and exercise, it is about spiritual health, mental health, um, you know, physical health. It's all about that. And I give a lot of time in reading, understanding, and practicing all of those things. That's nice. So, 
is there something else which is kept for the uh, upcoming scheme like there's a pipeline or project uh, of projects so is there something like that and if it yeah. is there would you like to share that with our audience i have a lot of projects actually by god's grace uh, a film called talevi is ready for release talevi is a film um, it's a biopic of jayalalitha ji uh, the chief minister of south uh, tamil nadu and kangana ranaut is playing uh, jayalalitha ji's role i am playing uh, mgr's wife which is janaki amma and i'm really looking forward to the release it's a cameo my role is not a very large one but a really good one and after that i've got projects with amazon i've got a movie called safe houses in hindi and talevi is also in hindi and tamil i've got a film called safe house in hindi which is for mx player i've got a tamil english hindi in uh, amazon and uh, i've got couple of releases uh, waiting for the covid to lift up in kannada and telugu and in tamil so i've got quite a few uh, lined up some to release and some some to start working all the very best for all those projects that are there and thank you so much in all the movies and projects that you just mentioned so thank is you. there any unforgettable event or moment in this long journey that you would like to share unforgettable moments i don't remember uh but i do remember that i have had some really really great moments and uh, the thing and i'm grateful for every professional and personal uh, moments in my life i can talk about my movies and how i got the movies and you know all those things which people know if you read about me on the net everything will come up so hence i would like to talk about my personal life i'm extremely grateful for my uh, you know my family that i'm married into because the love and respect and the support i have from them they are so modern and so supportive of me that only i feel so humbled and so grateful and so blessed and of course i have my daughters and i love them and they love me so that love of my family uh, i think uh, and i really realized and understood that it is the love of people around you that keeps that that is actually the value of your life work comes work goes work becomes successful work does not become successful these things keep happening but if you have people in your house and outside your house like good friends to love you and be with you um those are my special special moments in my life all right so you know in the beginning as i introduced uh, there was a mention of world humanitarian foundation so world humanitarian foundation that is our associated partner they work towards women empowerment so what are your views about women around the world yes i think uh, the world is uh, really balancing itself out the feminine energy is uh, rousing everywhere um it was very repressed it was suppressed um but right now it is not uh, willing to accept that it's uh, you know kind of bursting out of that it's raising its head it's uh, ready to fight it's ready to take the conflict and it's really ready to prove a point that we are supposed to be treated as an equal and that is the voice you hear everywhere uh, in all the cultures and all the societies you can see the women power feminine power rising and emerging as as it is in every case when something is trying to break open and come out and changing the normal ways there is going to be a lot of opposition there is going to be a lot of friction so there are a lot of situation which are very painful and uh, at this point i would like to say women empowerment is great uh, standing and supporting feminism is great but i would like to at this point include the male uh, of our species the men in our world to be the greatest feminist we we can we do we want i want to make them realize i want to make every girl realize every woman realize the fight is not against a man it is not winning against a man in the same way a man must not see that his power is being uh, reduced just because a woman comes into place to function or is she uh, trying to gain her existence or power to exist it doesn't mean that we are belittling you this basic understanding it is not you versus us it is us together we are one species 
we are not lions and human beings we are a man and woman we are just a different gender of the same species so while we are encouraging and talking and supporting women's empowerment i would like men to be the greatest flag bearers or the torch bearers of this movement it is not to alienate you but it is to include you it's not to be exclusive in anything it is to be inclusive so this is i think a man has to be the greatest feminist in a women's empowerment a man has to be the most supportive voice and this is what i believe because the minute you talk about girl empowerment we are dividing and i think divisiveness and dividing anything is the greatest problem it is wonderful to bring things together and function as a whole and not the greatest half but a great one whole so this is my belief in this the, those are some really amazing views actually and Thank as you. we are now heading towards the end of today's episode and the name of our show is success stories so if you have to define success what would be the definition i would like to say this to every young person who is watching this and uh, don't define success by the headlines in a newspaper or a cover of a magazine your success is directly proportionate to your happiness and happiness is not proportionate to your achievement it is a part of your journey of your life so again when you say that i become a superstar and i all the movie theaters have got my movies i am being interviewed by all the big channels it is only one strain of the journey you that so being successful there and failing everywhere else is not success and depending on other people's validation and how they think of you as a success will be your greatest failure because other people only see a good movie of yours or a good whatever that you're projecting out and they will say wow that was amazing but your life com comprises of every second every minute of your life which you live breathe and sleep and that only you know and if you depend on other people to say declare you to be a success you will be miserable you are successful as happy as you are so try to gain happiness in small moments and create wonderful relationships and to create wonderful relationship there's a lot you have to give don't always say what others are giving you it is about what you give so the minute you become a giving person you will receive when you have great relationships you will have great strength and motivation and self discipline is one of the greatest tool towards achievement uh, everybody knows what to do but very few people do that and that gap is filled with uh, self discipline so yes friends please do that and that is your success that you can wake up every day and feel happy before you go and do your job and that job may attain success that is fantastic but you have to wake up every day and sleep every day in peace and calm and happiness and that is success to me Oh my god thank you so much madhu ji for such a wonderful definition of success and i really hope that all our viewers you know take that in consideration and live their life accordingly thank you so much i really love talking to you uh no before we leave there's actually one last message that we would want from you for the viewers so please uh I I don't know I have spoken everything that I wanted to say that one last message would be um uh you know at this point I don't know what I want to say because I really think uh you know one must decide okay let me say that everything in life we say it's about feelings but I again believe that feelings are very fleeting you know feelings happen you suddenly feel love and suddenly you don't feel love so don't just get swayed by these waves of your feelings make your decision that i want to love you so when you make those decisions then you can override the feelings so even on a bad feeling day you will be able to keep the love and the commitment to your job to your work to your partner to your husband to your children to your parents so stick to your commitment 
don't get swayed by just the fleeting feelings because feelings are always a wave they come and they yeah. go but decisions and commitment is will always stick so let's make a decision and stick with it definitely so madhuji first rishta rishta uh, rishta nibhana sikho rishta hum sab kar lete hain par rishta nibhana sikho so okay. that is the commitment which we have to uh, bring into our lives in everything that we take up all right thank you so much madhuji this was lovely talking to you and we really enjoyed today's show and i just hope that all the viewers also enjoy a lot with this episode of success stories thank you so yeah thank you so much everyone for joining with us today on this episode of success stories and watching this episode For more such episodes, just stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe our channel because then you won't be receiving notifications. Our shows air up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So until the next show airs up, just stay tuned. Take care, stay safe, and bye bye.